singularity which is incomprehensible to us. We can't imagine what was there before that universe. But what we're told from established science, that the universe came into existence. So doesn't it make sense if something so vast comes into existence that it would have to have a primordial mover, someone who moves it, like the dominoes effect. You push the dominoes, it starts. It makes no sense a universe from nothing. Nothing. Nothing means an absence of absolutely anything. So it makes no sense. Therefore, there's more of a probability of there being a crater. Now, bearing that in mind, which you, I think you're already compelled towards. Yeah. Bearing that in mind, does it make any sense for the creator to create all of humankind and simply say, get on with it and I'll see you in a few thousand years? That makes no sense. It makes more sense if he's created us that he would give us a manual on how we should live. This mobile phone, pretend you've never seen it before, it's never been invented. I hand it to you and I say you can speak to anyone in the world on a mobile phone. Thank you. So uh, that's for you. That's a Quran in English. It's my delight to give that to you. No, my pleasure. I just want to quickly wrap up so you, no, so you, yeah. So, in essence, what we're saying then, if this mobile phone is about, it makes perfect sense. What would you say? What would you expect to have with this mobile phone? A, a manual. A manual. Yes. Instructions. A guide. Yeah. So, doesn't it make more sense that God, who's created us, has it just simply created us for no reason, but for a reason, and that is to recognize Him. So, hence, He gives us Scripture as a manual, the Old Testament for the Jews the New Testament for the Christians. The final testament is the Quran yeah, see, in English. That's what I don't get about Christianity and Catholicism. That they have a new and old, and I don't understand if it's the one, like the Quran, there's only one. Yes. There's no like new or old. Yeah, I'll that's explain that. I so was... the Old Testament was revelation given to Moses for the Jews. Then Jesus came along, uh, uh, like I think about 1500 years later, and God's revelation then was given to Jesus in the form of the Gospels, which are referred to as the New Testament. Revelation given to Jesus. Yeah. Then, 500, 600 years after Jesus, comes the Prophet Muhammad, upon whom be peace, from Arabia, yeah. who came with the same message, worship God alone. What happened? The Christians transgressed. They then made their major protagonist, Jesus, God. So they associated the rights of God, who is the sole creator, and associated man with God in the form of Jesus. Yeah. So Islam comes as a completion of God's law to mankind, which puts to rest who God is, unlike his creation. So it's not a man like Jesus who comes down to the earth, dies for the sins of mankind, and you're all forgiven. No, if you sin, if you make error, you sincerely repent to God for your actions. That's Islam's teaching. It doesn't require a supposed son of his coming down and dying for the sins of mankind. Does that make any sense to you? No, of course, yeah. yeah. So, um, so. Because I know that also Jesus is a um, prophet from Muslim religion. Precisely. And of more interest for you coming from a Catholic background, did you know in the Bible, he never claims to be other than a prophet. In Mark chapter 6 verse 4, and in Matthew chapter 21 verse 11, he simply claims to be a prophet of God. No more, no less. It's yeah. only centuries later where Jesus is invoked to being God himself. He never taught this. In fact, he made it crystal clear that there's only one true God and he's a messenger of God. So Islam brings us back. So God, what have we learned today in this little brief conversation? God is not a man, he's not a woman, he's not an idol, he's not a statue. He's far beyond the universe because he created the universe. The moment we give imagery to God, it's the moment God ceases to have his magnificence because he's beyond the universe. As me and you speak now, if I reach out like this, between us is what? Space, time, matter. Even God is beyond that as well. Because he created all this at the point of the Big Bang when the universe came into existence. He hasn't got a face. That's what they were saying. He hasn't got a face. And it makes sense, you see. Or he or she, like you said. Yep, like he's not a he or a she. Yeah, yeah. The reason why I use the word he is just a figure of speech. Yeah. But let's make this absolutely clear. God is not a man. He's not a woman. He's not an idol. He's not a statue. So we're absolutely clear on that. Yeah. So I'd invite you to accept Islam today. It's very straightforward. You, be you believe that there's only one God and God sends messengers, Abraham, Moses, Jesus, Muhammad, who is the final messenger. No more, no less. And that is, makes you already a Muslim. Straightforward, easy. Yeah. Would you like to take that step today? You can go and shock your partner. So yeah, you become that, a Muslim. No, that's what I'm going to say. I'm going to read this because he, he's saying radio and I've got the pro-Muslim app on Fantas the phone. Okay, fantastic. But 
I couldn't really understand it. Like, it was too much. I'd rather, I'm a book person. Fantastic. I've summarised to you, however, what Islam is. If you, if you simply... Okay, I'm really let, sorry. Yeah. No, no, you go ahead. No, please do. No, no, you go ahead, please. I don't want to delay you. Hello? Um, I'm just at the front of... Um, Stratford Station. Where are you? Right. Sorry. Yeah. No, it's my pleasure. That's it. Is that the good lady you're meeting? Is it? Yeah. yeah okay. Nice fantastic. Steps, Thank you. Hi there. How you doing? Yeah. Good. Good. Thanks. So I'll just very briefly. I don't want to delay you, ladies, further. No, no, so, so nominally speaking, by becoming Muslim, you already testify to what you already summarily believe. Only one God. God sends messengers to guide mankind upon how one should live one's, one's life. Makes perfect sense according to the analogy I've given to you in reference to creation. So if you want to take that step. You can become Muslim now and then slowly, slowly implement everything by reading. Yeah. But if you feel you want to read first and then take the testification, then it's up to you as well. I don't want to compel you. You feel whatever you feel at ease. We've had about several people become Muslims today. Because, and I'll do this type of work in other areas. The, the growth of this religion is astronomical. Yeah. It really is, and because it appeals and resonates to the person's inner inclination. It's not eloquence of what I'm saying. And it's, it's, it's quite beautiful. The, the belief is as well, it's not like pushy, pushy. It's the people that do push it on you, yeah. None of the there's no compulsion so because, yeah, that's, yeah. What, that's what I like about it. It's quite a peaceful religion, yeah. It's very peaceful. The fact that you know, once you communicate with God, is your partner a practicing Muslim? Does he pray five times a day, or he doesn't pray five times a day, okay? Um, but he does, we do Ramadan. I did it Ramadan with him. Oh, bless you, um, okay. So he does holidays, but okay. he, I think. It's no excuse, but living in London, work, da da da, he, yeah. but he does have the alarm. Is he a, like, is he a uh, revert or is he like born Muslim? Born. Born, okay, that's fine. So, yeah, so in that case, basically speaking, to, in order to become, in addition to the point I made, it's very simple. You testify there's only one God, which is what you already believe, and the prophets, which God sends as a form of guidance to mankind, with the completion being a prophet Muhammad upon whom be peace. People, as I said, they're, they're entering this religion in droves. It will satisfy your inner inclinations, and um, then you inculcate. Especially because people like on, over there in the corner, a young man, a revert to Islam from an English background. You've got my friend just who's kneeling down there with a long ginger beard over there. Yeah. See, revert to Islam. You've got a brother there of Afro-Caribbean descent, a revert to Islam. This religion, I'm not just saying it as a means of, you know, just saying, oh, now you've got to take this step. Yeah. But rather, it's, it's, it appeals and it resonates with the inclination. Yeah, no, I 100% understand what you mean. For me personally, I'm going to read the book. Fantastic. I'm not going to... But yeah. I'm very open minded. I know you, you certainly are there. I can I definitely yeah. show you there, yeah. So thank you so much. Delighted um, to speak to, to speaking to you. I don't want to keep your friend delayed any further, you probably yeah. so <laughs> so what we do, you can watch this video if you so wish on, on a couple of stations. If you if you want your face blurred out, I can get that arranged as well. So no one can see you if you don't want to. I'm fine. You're fine, excellent. Yeah. So it's called um, S F Dawa. D A W A. H. Oh, yeah. Dawah means invitation in Arabic. You're going to write it down because you're going to forget it now. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, please. Thank you. So that sugar foxtrot, SF. Sorry, I'm not even sorry. there yet. Sorry, I beg your pardon. Sorry, <laughs> I'm being a bit... How are you not cold? Well, it's quite pleasant for there, about 19, 20 degrees. So we found it... I suppose it's the sun's now setting, so it's going to get a bit colder. So but, yeah. S. S for sugar. Yeah. F for foxtrot. So that's two letters together, yeah. and, this, and the second word is D for Delta, A for Alpha, W for Whiskey, which we're not supposed to use, but anyway, W for Whiskey, yeah. A for Alpha, <laughs> and H for Hotel. Oh, yeah. Fantastic. So you can have a look on there, it actually belongs to my, my hooded friend there with the glasses. We've oh, got other good. stations as well, which yeah. do it. There's another one called Sam Dawa. If you prefer that one, it's got 120 odd thousand subscribers. You're going to be amazed at the amount of people who are becoming Muslims. You'll see yours truly as well, speaking to a few individuals who have become Muslims of all different uh, backgrounds and colours and creeds, and it's tremendously in vogue. Um, so have a good day. Sorry if I've gone relentlessly. No, I hope you okay. benefit. And please, if you need to pass by again, we're here regularly between oh, okay. 2:30 and about 8 p.m.
particularly during these summer times, uh, 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 on the Saturdays in particular. Oh, Saturdays. So you're very welcome to pass by if you so wish. And I do know they are, um, the tables are frequently here during the week, but I'm not sure what times. But we're here for certain 2.30 to 8.30 uh, during the summer period. So you'd be very welcome to pass oh, by if you so wish. So I've been delighted to speak to you. Thank you so much thank for your time. Thank you. Take care, Sergio. Bye-bye. Take care. Take care. All the best. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Bye -bye. So um, just to conclude, I had a very pleasant chat with this lady who, who, is a, um, who is actually very interested in Islam. Her partner is a Muslim who, inshallah, will be a source of guidance for her. She's taken the Quran. She's observed that the uh, practice of Islam are very much um, um, appealing to her. So in this way, inshallah, by the will of Allah, she will accept it slowly. So she says she's going to take the Quran, which will be given her a copy. Mashallah, so many copies have been given out. We've given out, we've done other shahadas as well, which have been also filmed. So that will be inshallah. We've had seven shahadas, unbelievable. Today in Stratford, um, on the 20th of May, there have been seven people who have accepted Islam. Most of them have been recorded. Who can dispute the growth of this religion? So let's um, all you know, in, incorporate the religion into our life as Muslims. And inshallah, Allah benefit all our souls. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah.